Yo, what's going on guys? So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to boost 1000 FPS and fix lag on Roblox and increase your performance to the best possible you can get. And I'm also going to show you how to get zero ping, so hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Press the Windows and R together to open the Run tool. Type percentage local app data slash percentage. Roblox and click on OK. Then open the folder versions and this folder that has Versin and several letters and numbers in its name. Right click on the Roblox player file which doesn't have a launcher at the end of its name and click on properties. This selects the compatibility tab. Check the run in 640 by 480 screen resolution. Option less click. Click on apply in the Nokia. So now go to my website I give. Link in the description and download the Roblox FPS boost pack. And follow me. And once you open it up go to over here. And make sure this is set to the bit. Some highest performance one. Press make active. And make sure you guys are copying this. Exact same settings I'm using. If it is different. Make sure it's all on 100% that you can press apply. And also, I wouldn't recommend this if you are on a laptop, just because of heater gets used. That will usually come with laptops when you're gaming. So, I wouldn't want to make this any worse. But, if you are on PC feel free to use this. And now you need to do is press open. Now once you have opened it, what you want to do is go to main on the top left. I know it does look a bit confusing, but it's pretty simple if you just follow what I say. So go to main and go to active power profile. And you want to select the bit some highest performance. And also, now go down and make sure performance mode is enabled. Alright so, now what we're gonna do is turn a random Roblox game. It literally game. does not matter what game it is. We just need a ruling in the background. We're not gonna touch Roblox whatsoever. So here's what we're gonna do is go back into Lesser, process. And then look for where Roblox is. And you could just spam on your keyboard until you find it. And as you can see Roblox player better is here. And right click. Right click on it and go to CPU priority and set this to always high and make sure this is high and then go to CPU affinity go to always and here's what we're gonna do so if you guys have a rising CPU you wanna set this to disable hyper threading because generally this saying works better on your rising CPU so um the best way to put this is what this does is as you can see I have a bunch of these um CPU logical processes as well so basically the best way to put this is when you disable hyper threading this is gonna use your logical cause so it's gonna use your main ones not the ones that the PC decides to use when your main ones feel lazy this that's kind of like the best way to put it so it's better to do this rise in CPUs than Intel so if you have an Intel it's one it's better to just set this to none now select the settings tab in the first king option set on in graphics mode set manual and finally in the graphics quality option click on this button that has a minus icon until it only has on blue bar gear up booster is the best program to boost your fps and fix lag in any game however in this video will specifically explain how you can use gear up booster to increase fps in roblox and eliminate lag make sure to grab this program for free from the link provided in the description to enhance your gaming experience Alright, so once you've downloaded the DMSI app, what you want to do is open it up, and it should look something like this. Now with the graphics card that you have. It honest depends what graphics card you have. So, for me I've got a GTX 1000 now I'm still testing for the best overclocking settings. To maximize my FPS by the moment, I am using 125 for my core clock. And for my memory clock I'm currently using 500. Now that's what I did, but they didn't really help me out, so I figured my own one. At the moment, as you can see, I'm using 125 with 500. Now a lot of people like to increase that vote by 25, but I wouldn't recommend this. So, if they have a voltage saying with 25 um, I wouldn't really suggest that you can do if you want. But for my personal preference, I wouldn't increase the voltage. Especially with, if you don't know how much electric or chassis voltage, your power supply is using. And also before you do this, I would also recommend that you guys have extra power. So for example, if you have like 500 watts and your PC is only using 300 400, you should be good to go, but just make sure your PC isn't using the entire power supply. Now I don't want to go too much in detail, but you can check PC power pick for that and how much. What's your PC is using? Just put your specs and your power supply and at the bottom. It should say the amount of power your PC is using. 
But yeah, and also, you can control your template. Now for me, I'm, I'm just gonna set this to 97, because that's I don't marks. want a temp limit, because my PC doesn't overheat. So, I don't need to have this minimized. Another heads up that I wanted to mention is, with testing these settings, with the same graphics card, they might not always work for you. So, what happens sometimes in games? For example, when you play a game with these overclock settings, your game might crash, depending on if it's set to high. So, if it's set to high usually, your game is likely gonna crash, if your graphics card cannot handle it. So, I would suggest just keep on lowering and lowering, until you just don't crush at all. So for me sometimes, what I know is that it might not crush at first. It might crush after a few days. So after crushing after a few days, what I do is I lower it again, and then I notice sometimes it might crush. In a week's time I know it sounds weird, but sometimes your PC may not crush now, but it might crush a week later. You know, then, just right click on desktop and select the display settings option. Thus go to the mouth menu finder, the graphic settings option then selected. After that you must find the Roblox application file. To do that click on browse, select the desire in the upper corner, interface everything no type per sync. Look out web data per sync selection, Roblox and presenter, or your keyboard. Then open the folder versions. In this folder, which has version in several letters and numbers, in its name Leslie. Select the Roblox player file, that doesn't have a launcher in its name and click on net. Now click on options, choose high performance, and then click on C. Search for the problem. Is go from press cancel. In case this isn't the one you're using, and go to the one you're using, and press change plan settings. And make sure turn off the display is set and never. And also put the computer sleeps at this to never. And now, we wanna do is go to change advanced power settings. And then we wanna do now is scroll down and look for where it says, processor power management. All right, so if you have any heating issues or anything like I that, I wouldn't recommend doing this, especially if you're on a laptop. Um, just because of cooling issues that a lot of laptops come with. But anyways, just go to here and then go to minimum process estate and set this to 100 and set the system cooling policy to active and set the maximum process estate to 100. This is just gonna make sure that your PC is running full out. power all the time for the best FPS you can get possible. But after that, you can press apply and press OK. You can close all this.